What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this one is going to make the floors 2 and 3 of the interior for your Hello Neighbor Alpha 3 house. There will be one more part after this that will show you, um, just the rest of the floors basically, it, they're not crazy, so, uh, it'll all be kind of mushed into one part that will be, I don't want to say, like, short, but not really long either, um, Anyway, God, that is so weird whenever you go through a doorway or something, it pushes you down. Um, but yeah, honestly, not a ton happening here. There, I Technically, this isn't the full third floor, um, because there is the train station and stuff, but it's just the main two rooms of the third floor, which being this room here and the room in front of it. And yeah, with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the spacing of this is, well, you don't need any space. All you need is your Alpha 3 from, like, 14 years ago. Now, it's been a while, but, um, you do need the first floor finished. How do I stall time to wait for my other Minecraft to load so I can pull the build up on another device? And I gotta wait for it to freaking sign in. Hold on. Uh, well, you should start by going inside and coming up to the second floor, and we're gonna start with the red room. Uh, which is the one that you do. And we're actually going to completely fi finish this room uh, while we're here. Okay, if I do this, will it, it's probably going to freak out. Oh, it's not going to freak out. Okay. Hi, that's me. Um, oh, I'm at Hello Neighbor 2. Hold on, I'm going to... This is not what I was expecting to do. Pretty sure it's here. Ah, it actually is. So, um, you want to, that was a loud door. You want to start off by, basically, you have that row of pillar quartz there. You want to break that row of pillar quartz, this one, oh god. And you want to make your entire floor warped planks. And I'd also actually do the same with this one here. Um, I don't have spec, hold on, give me a second. Because uh, I believe the entire second floor is, in fact, warped floor. And that would be correct, yeah. So you can literally just, like, take the entire second floor and do this. Make it a warped floor. Just to get it out of the way. What we have broken at the staircase, you will leave broken that way. Sorry, that was a little bit of a stall. I just wanted to start, you know? I'm totally that excited to start this. Uh, but yeah. Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part. This video, I will have said it in the intro, but I'm going to say it again. This floor will be the... the oh, good. Uh, yeah, this floor... <laughs> this interior... Even worse. This video will be the entire second floor of the interior. And then you'll have one more part, which should finish out the trio of the interior. It's just so I get the videos out quicker, because I could technically go and, you know, give you the entire second or the entire interior in one video but then you'd have to wait like triple the time you did so i know you guys want it so oh i could i also thought about doing it where it's like just the first floor and then the rest of the interior is a separate video but the interior should be weird it might be more than three parts i right now i'm looking at three but it it just could change from day to day not really sure Anyway, come back to the red room because we want to start here. And you can just get out some red concrete so we can mark out a doorway. And this doorway happens to be in the middle of this opening here that leads into the other section of the build. Not this one over here. It's the, yeah, it's this one. Uh, you can kind of just surround this in red concrete and then you'll end up um, just leaving a one by two doorway. I think that's fairly self-explanatory. Okay, I was just checking if that painting hole was there. So I didn't know if I had added it or not. Which, I have not. Alright, what shall we get out? Let's get out. Hold on, let me check. Ha, okay. You want to get out smooth cord slabs. I'll actually get rid of the two materials that you just had as well. Nether brick fence. 
soul lanterns, torches, uh, acacia fence. Iron bars, chains, dark oak trap doors, and we'll go paintings, and I think that'll, like, almost finish this room. And then we'll probably do that hole in the wall, mm, okay, probably do that hole in the wall to get that out of the way. So, you want to basically, just where you have mangrove planks, you want to make the ceiling upside down smooth quartz steps. You'll leave this row of pillar quartz, which is literally a row of two, and you'll leave the glass blocks open, obviously, because they're windows and, well, uh, technically they're skylights, actually. Which is weird that this is the only spot in the entire, like, out of any of the Hello Neighbor games, I'm pretty sure these are the only skylights. There might be some in Hello Neighbor 2 on the bakery. I don't think there is, but... Or the mayor's us. I don't know, but whatever. I guess Actarian also has this, but you get the point. It's the same room, so. Alright. Along the right wall, this wall, the one that I'm looking at right now, uh, you'll come to the, I guess, front right-hand corner and you'll count back diagonally to the left by one. Break that smooth court slab, replace it with another brick fence with a soul lantern underneath. Where you have the staircase, you want to... Basically, at the far side of it, which is the, I guess, where the biggest opening part is here, you'll count right a block from my perspective and then up one and place a normal torch. You will basically surround this staircase and acacia fence where you would, where it would be a falling hazard. Obviously, you want to leave an opening here, which is fine, but you just want it like that. Very descriptive, I know. Um... At the right side here, these three fences, you can place iron bars on top, and then you can go and leave a one block at moving left and then place another iron bar here. You'll bring that bottom fence left with an iron bar, three chains, and then two iron bars. And you can copy that row two more times. I think this is going to be a fairly easy floor. Maybe I will do more than just this floor. Guess we'll see. Maybe we'll get that room done over there. Nah, I should be looking more up, but whatever. And you basically want to bring these iron bars that you just brought up by two or whatever up an additional row, and then this, like, kind of back row over here, you'll bring up by two iron bars. So basically, all of them want to be as high as they can go, except for the chains. And then above the chains, you can place dark oak trap doors, like so. I think the paintings are the only thing we can use now in here. Ooh, there's actually another uh, light. So, from this leftmost window, you want to take the back block of it, and you want to leave a one block at moving left, and then you'll break this slab and do another nether brick fence with a soul lantern underneath. Along the back wall at the right side specifically, you have three paintings. From the bottom right-hand corner of the wall, you'll count up diagonally to the right by one, and there'll be a one block painting here. That's that yellow one with the other yellow it's that one <laughs> up diagonally to the right will be another painting which this one is the uh salmon bowl or the clown as i like to call it now one and then down diagonal to the left will be one more which is that giraffe oh oh because oh, oh, that's a fence frick okay well okay I get, okay there we go i forgot fences did that <laughs> Okay, then you can clear your inventory and clean up a mess. Oh no, what a mess. Which the bottom? Where is the top? Clean up, clean up. Okay, anyway. Uh, you can clear your inventory. Get out levers. End rods. Pillar quartz blocks. Oak slabs. Which we'll also use for planks because I'm lazy. Uh, purple banner. Birch door, and I'm gonna actually get out structure voids and paintings, and that should hopefully be able to give us this thing over here. Uh, in this doorway, you can place a birch door, and that one's clear, and the handle will be facing right when you're looking at the door. 
on I guess the side of the gate you want to just behind the uh, last row of chains where you have this row of iron bars, right of it you'll place two end rods moving up on the floor with a pillar course block on top. I don't know why it's so tall, but whatever. Uh, along the right wall you will on the I think it's third block back. Yeah, it is third block back. At the at eye level you'll place a lever. This would obviously open that, but I don't have the mechanic or I don't have the command. Well, I probably do have the command knowledge, but I don't feel like doing a command for that, so. <laughs> if I ever make this working, then maybe, but I don't know if that's happening. Um, you have this kind of iron bar that isn't actually connecting to anything. It's literally the only iron bar that isn't. Left of it, you'll place an oak plank with a purple banner on the left face. Along the left wall, you want to, from the back corner, you want to count forward two and up two and place two oak slabs moving forward. Count left two and then up a block and place two slabs moving forward again. Okay, I, I thought it was different, but I, I think I'm just going crazy. Uh, you want to go to that outside area, which is this spot here, and... Well, we're at this point, I have realized a minor mistake. It's nothing crazy, and it's easy to fix. This entire wall here, this yellow concrete one, only this little part really matters. You need to push inward a block, so you basically want to push it towards these paintings, so instead of being where it is, it'll end up being here. Everything's the same about it. Also, these... This dark oak will also get pushed with that. I have, in fact, realized this is a minor mistake. I didn't realize that until now, though. And I don't know how I how I managed that. When you do this as well, you want to make sure that any yellow concrete that happened to be there on the inside is broken. Because the hallway's four blocks. Also, this row of pillar court should be warped now. But yeah, I do apologize about that. That's a minor minor massive mistake but yeah, you will have to clean up a little bit when you do this and then the top pillar courts really doesn't matter that can stay there yeah I don't think and I'll confirm this before I actually oh I actually used a birch sign because I don't think uh oh okay they do that's good so you can use a structure void or a birch sign I have it as a birch sign but I'm gonna switch to structure void it's basically so, for, uh, oopsies, uh, from the, for the painting that is the, uh, hole, the one with the hole, it's just, from this bottom left corner, it'll be one up, and you'll break this, and then you'll have the painting. Like that. It wants to be that, um, weird green guy with the teacup. Oh boy, there's a lot of paintings on this wall, there we go. You want to leave a two block at moving right of it, and you want to place a one block painting that is the black and white one that has a triangle in it. I don't know what that description was. There we go. Below it, you'll place another one block painting that happens to be the, again, green guy with the cup. Not very original here. Hello? Oh my god. It can't be... Okay. From the black and white triangle one, you'll go up diagonally left and also up diagonally to the right from that, and you'll place uh, two of these salmon painting. Hey, let's go. Not even a problem. How's that done? Nothing crazy. Let's actually, we really don't need to clear inventory for this because this hallway uses like exactly what we have. I yeah. Uh, so you want to... You, from this uh, birch door here, you have four yellow concrete behind it. It's the one that we were just, like, working with. You want to place, behind that, three more yellow concrete, a birch door, and the handle should, in fact, face left if you're looking at the door. Uh, I gotta count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight yellow concrete... And then you'll place going left, yellow concrete, birch door, it's the handle will face right. 
Yo, I'll bring all the yellow concrete up by four, and then the doors will be brought up with three yellow concrete. Just like that. I'm gonna clear my inventory now because I have a mess. Uh, you wanna get out. Paintings. Smooth court slabs. Item frame. And a clock. Nether brick fence. Soul lanterns. And then you also want... Green terracotta. I had to make sure it wasn't concrete, because... I don't even know anymore. In line with the third row of yellow or red above the doors, you'll fill in the ceiling with upside down smooth quartz slabs. At the furthest front, I suppose, side of this hallway, which is this side over here, you want to, in this corner, you'll break this and replace it with a green terracotta, and you'll have one block out moving across the build. And you'll place another one, and you'll place item frames on the underside of both of those. Those are those weird eye paintings that are on the ceiling. You actually want normal lanterns, not soul lanterns for this room. I don't know why it's normal, but whatever. Um, from the middle of that gap, you want to... Or the middle of those two, you want to count back by two, and you'll break that. Place another brick fence with a lantern underneath. This one, you can actually place smooth quartz above. Uh, it doesn't have to be whatever you're given, it's smooth quartz. Now. At the... If you're, like, looking towards the front of the build, or towards that door at the end of the hallway with the yellow wall, you'll, it'll be the, uh, door on the right, it'll be the second door, it's this one. Up diagonally to the right from it, you'll place an item frame with a clock in it, it should be placed there. Left wall, every other block is a painting. I'm probably not going to be very specific about these, but I will tell you. So, from the front, you'll actually have a two-block gap, and then it'll start. So, this third block will be painting. Uh, it'll be, okay, I'm going to be specific. It'll be that yellow one, and then you'll just, again, it'll just be every other block. Until you are, so you have a two-block gap from this doorway. And the painting order is that yellow one, obviously. The salmon bowl. The, uh, weird r reptile eye looking one. That one. The green guy with a cup of tea. The salmon bowl. The weird yellow one again. And then on the other side of this door, it'll just be one more. That is the... Giraffe. Camel. I don't know why I call it that. It's still not that one. Please don't break any of the paintings. Please don't. Okay, good. And then, is that this hallway done? It actually is. Oh, there's one more light. Uh, Two blocks away from the red wall in line with the door, it'll just be here. And this should also have smooth quartz above it. Like that. There you go. Pretty simple. Alrighty, so let's go to the ominous door at the end of the hallway and start with these, like, kind of... Why does my sensitivity feel high? Whatever. These two kind of rooms, which is the, the bathroom and the hallway here. Uh, you want to clear your inventory and you can get out. I think yellow concrete's a good starting point. Birch doors. Chains, we'll say. That's a fair one, I guess. Smooth cord slabs. Well, I don't know why we're doing this as we go instead of just all at once, but whatever. Uh, and we'll go, I guess, nether brick fence. Lanterns. Beehives. Mangrove stairs. And we'll go acacia planks. 
That will get us, like, the layout of the two rooms done, and then also some of the stuff in uh, this hallway here. So, you want to look at that door door wall? Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, and you you have two rows of yellow concrete to the side of the door. You want to place a third, and then you want to place... Uh, one, two, three, four, five... You want to place seven rows of chains that are one shorter than that yellow concrete, so they should be four tall. Correct? Yeah. These are a nightmare to place, by the way. Oh, wait. It's confirmed, guys. I'm a menace at this game. That was actually really freaking easy that way. I couldn't even see it because I have the highlight instead of the outline now. Which I might change that back because I'm realizing how useless the highlight actually is. But, um, it's only useful for, like, black concrete. But literally anything else, it's, like, not structure voids. But, uh, anyway, just going left still from that, you want to place a yellow concrete that is, again, this is five tall. You shall go towards the front with two rows of yellow. And then you want to place a birch door on the next block. It wants to be on the outside or like the other side of this hallway. And the handle wants to actually face back. So you're going to have to do some things for that. You will need a row of yellow concrete in front of it anyway. So you want that. You can then place... This raw light blue concrete, you're just going to kind of want to cover this up with a raw yellow concrete. And keep that wall moving so it is nine blocks long. So that's the first row, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. You should have a two block gap from the edge wall again, which is correct. Guessing the handle is going to face the incorrect way. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, yeah, no, we're fine. And then you'll place a birch door on the next block. The, the handle should be facing left, and it should be when you're facing towards the front of the build. And then it'll be another row yellow concrete. And that'll box this room in. I would just start from the chains and just place opposite on smooth quartz slabs and then fill in the inside of this. I wouldn't fill in this room yet because I want to mark out the walls first and also uh, there's some areas that you really don't want to do that with just because of the like weird... I think it's still there in Alpha 3. It's that weird like staircase with the upside down door, which unfortunately you can't get upside down doors in Minecraft, so... Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, so, let's orient ourselves to the corner that I'm standing in is the front right, which is based on the actual front of the build. Uh, the door on the left, you're going to want to place a mangrove stair blocking. At the front wall, you'll leave a three block gap from that corner, and you'll place three acacia planks. In line with the middle one and on the warped plank just behind it. You're going to want to break the slab in the ceiling and place another brick fence with lantern underneath. You can make a smooth can place a smooth cord slab above it to cover that up with uh, the respective or the white material cuz this is I believe this is like I don't know, but it, it I have it smooth cords. I think the seal or the floor here is actually warped slab, so I think it just barely misses. Um, do we? No, we don't clear inventory because we have beehives. Let me make sure we also don't need anything in the other room as far as what we have. Yeah, we. Well, well I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, do ceiling stuff in the other room. So from the uh, from the door that we started with, this back right one, you want to leave a one block at moving forward, and actually you can just from this warp plank go forward diagonally left, and place two beehives moving up. Bring the bottom one forward and also that same one left by one each. In the bathroom in front, just to get it over with while we have the materials, you can fill in the ceiling with upside down smooth quartz slabs. And this floor is really small, I'm just now realizing. So compared to the first floor, like, man, this is like four rooms. Although we still have the biggest room left to do, which is a scary thought. And it will be... Two blocks off the back, and it'll be in line with the left more half of the middle of the window. So it'll be this row right here, it'll be two off the back, so there. And again, you can have a smooth cord sub above, it'll be another brick fence lantern again, that'll... Oh, God, that whole ordeal. And you'll have a sub on top. So that does, I think, confirm what I was thinking with the warped slab floor. Yeah, because I remember I had some sort of thing with that. And I was like, well, this is unfortunate, but I guess it's what I have to do. Alright, let's say bye-bye uh, to that room for a moment. You can clear your inventory and get out for yourself. Let me actually get into the right room so I know what I need to get. Although I probably knew already. Uh, no, I didn't. Cyan banners. 
We're probably just gonna get the materials for this room and then uh, call it, even though it won't be a full inventory. Flower pot. Lily of the Valley, because I don't think any of these overlap between the rooms. And paintings. And I might also want to get just a random block to so the paintings we can actually control. Uh, on the acacia planks, you can just place cyan banners on top of, or on the side of all of them, I should say. And then on the, if you're looking at it from the cyan banner side, or from, like, I guess on the other side of the chains. <laughs> on the right acacia plank, you want to place a flower pot with Lily of the Vet Valley. Why is that like that? Oh, never mind, it is. It's just the angle that I'm looking at. It looks different. Okay, whatever. Uh, from the... What would be the left wall from that side, but it's the right wall from the actual front of the build if you have orientation for that. Uh, you want to, from the bottom yellow cotton grid here, you want to go... I guess from the way that I'm looking at this, it'll be up diagonally left by one. And I'll have a one block painting that is the black and white one with the triangle. I still don't know what it is. Some of them I know, most of them I don't. That one. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. And then up diagonally left with another painting, and this one will be that little teapot guy. Hopefully you guys know what paintings I'm talking about at this point, because my descriptions are oddly specific, but not in the way they should be. Also, why did I block pick yellow concrete when I got an oak planks for that? What, whatever, it's not even important anymore. The bathroom! Yeah, you want to come in here first, and oh god. I guess clear inventory, and we actually might have been able to fit both anyway. But you want to get out smooth court stairs. <coughs> oh god, this is where my throat does. Stone brick walls. Jungle trap doors. And blue carpet. And that's literally this room done. Uh, at the So this is going to be actually based on the front now. There's the front of the grid. The left wall where you have this row of pillar courts. It'll be the row behind it. You'll place an upside down smooth court stair. And you'll leave a one block gap and place a jungle trap door. And... Open it up against the wall, you want the handle at the bottom. Although, if it isn't at the bottom, it's not like it's the end of the world or anything, but... Yeah. Where you have a, well, a big window. Um, it's the window at the front, the 4 by 3 You want to take the bottom yellow concrete, or this yellow concrete below the right side from the front, left side from the only way you can technically look at it in this case. And you want to place, just, I guess, across the window, place three smooth court stairs facing back. Bring the left one back with a stair facing right, then go right with a stair facing forward, and then right with another stair facing left. From that last stair you place, you want to go up with two stone brick walls, and then place one to the left. From the right two blocks of this, you want to leave a one block at moving back, and then just place a two by two of blue carpet on the floor behind it, like that. Nothing about this is insanely hard, hopefully not. I don't know, maybe my description is, but... Let's mark out the next room. I have to do weird things to get in here, though. Hold on. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's mark out the next room. So you want to uh, come through the chains, I guess, because that's the easiest way. And you want to come to the uh, opposite side of this door right here. It's the door that would lead to the security room and act the room. I mean, it still is a security room, but it's not really all there. You need yellow concrete and light blue concrete. Pillar quartz blocks, and we'll go with the old smooth quartz subs again. From the backmost yellow concrete here, you want to bring it left with four yellow concrete. Pillar quartz block. Actually, get out birch doors as well. Then you want to bring that pillar quartz block back with a light blue concrete. And then a birch door with the handle facing forward, and it wants to be placed on the right side of the block like that. And then you'll go back with five light blue concrete. And then you can just connect left. You want to make all of the walls again, five tall. Do I want to finish this room right now? I don't know if I do. Um, maybe. Maybe I will. I don't know, I'm debating it. <laughs> I mean, you'll see, it doesn't matter for you, but it matters for me. Fill in the ceiling with upside down smooth quartz slabs in line with that. And hey, look, it's a strip spruce wood. That literally isn't in our way at all. I love that. I love not thing. I love not things being in the way. What? Okay, whatever. I mean, it, it technically works, but it's not grammatically accurate in any way. Or correct. 
There we go. Do I want to do this room right now? Sure, let's punch it out. It'll take like 10 seconds. Uh, clear inventory, get out, stone buttons. Paintings. Sea lanterns. Surely. Okay. Spruce stairs. And a green carpet, and that'll literally be the entire room done. We are again going to orient this based on the front, which you have windows, so that's helpful. And you want to come to the door at the right side, which is the door to the room that we just did. You want to leave a one block gap from it, and you want to place seven green carpet moving left. Bring it back with another uh, green carpet. And then we're going to look at this yellow concrete wall that is... Not the one that the door sits on, but the one kind of, I guess, intersecting with it. The only other yellow wall in the room. The block that I'm currently highlighting, which is the second row up and one to the right. Or I guess it's the first yellow concrete and the second one up. You want to play a stone button. You can leave a one block at moving up, and here you're going to want to place a one block painting that is the yellow city skyline. One second. There we go. Right of it, you'll place another one that is the uh, reptile eye one. That's what I call it, at least. That one. And then down diagonally right, you'll place another one, and this will be the salmon bowl or the clown. Hey, I got it pretty quick. I will forever see that it is a clown. I do not care what you say. Um, oh, good. We need some of those paintings again. Uh, divert your attention, attention to the left wall, and at the third block up, which is actually the one that I'm highlighting... In line with the middle of the window, I suppose. You want to come to the second light blue concrete back, and you'll place a one block painting. That's the definitely a giraffe. Definitely a giraffe, which I got first try. Behind that, you'll place the black and white uh, triangle one, and then a block gap behind that, you'll place another one. That will be the reptile eye. I'm not going to get so lucky with this one. Oh, that was not, not too bad. Below that reptile eye one, you want to trace it to the floor, and you want to place an upside down spruce stair facing back there. Behind it, place an upside down spruce stair facing forward. One more thing to do in this room, and that's lighting. From the pillar quartz block, you want to uh, come to the upmost, one, the top one, which is this one, and you want to count from it forward two and left two, and here you want to place a sea lantern. In the ceiling, you want to break a slab for it. And then go back diagonally to the left and place another sea lantern. There is, like, almost your entire second floor complete. We just have that one room, and I guess I'll throw in some third floor stuff for you. Let's move into the, uh, big room that is, oh, very undone. Uh, you want to start by clearing inventory. That would be a good start. And I'm going to procrastinate for like 15 se Can you load any slower, my other Minecraft? Oh my god. Uh, but you would probably need, if I had to... I'm blocked in a door. Uh, you would need light blue concrete. I think literally just light blue concrete for the walls, actually. That's good to know. Um, smooth quartz slabs mangrove stairs the old nether brick fence and lantern combo what else what else i can't freaking i can't actually see i don't know why i was saying that anvil i don't know what it is but it's an anvil well that's descriptive smooth court stairs and i think we have one material light yeah, no we have two actually white banners and, um, the other thing is, I'll say birch door. There's a couple things that lead into some other rooms that we'll do. But basically, I think the starting point is just boxing this room off, basically. So, essentially, you want to take, uh, okay. You want to take this light blue concrete wall where you have the yellow concrete wall and all that jazz. And you want to just kind of box this off with light blue. You just want to take this light blue, blue wall and bring it to the yellow wall. And then you can also connect this wall from the uh, little security office and just connect it back and fill in these three rows. This gap will, in fact, be used, uh, which uh, will actually be relevant in literally right now. So, ironically, in the third block over, so this will be the first, second, third, fourth on that wall, you want to break a doorway here. 
as you're going to want to place a birch door with the handle facing left. On top of it, I would just place a light blue concrete. And in a little bit here, you're going to want to place a warp plank off of this going right. So into the room. Other than that, though, that one block in front of the door, you want to just fill in the ceiling with upside down smooth quartz slabs, which should just be in line with this area. Now, I will also point this out. Because I made this when crouching was not in bedrock, you could just fill that in now with um, upside down smooth quartz slabs in front of the door, and you'll be able to get in it just fine. Obviously, you know, choose what you want to do with that. I'm just going to cover it up because... You know, I think for the accessibility of it, frankly, it doesn't matter in this because I don't think, I don't know if this door even opens in Alpha 3. Yeah, because it's blocked off entirely. I'm just looking at it. Um, so I really don't think it matters. Anyway, either the doors in this room, you're going to want to place mangrove stairs in front of. Uh, let's get the lights in. So, from the... Alright, we're gonna get strange here. Hold on, I can't count that for some reason. Okay, from the second chain to the left, if you're looking towards the chains, it'll be this one. You wanna count to the sixth slab out. So, this is on top, so that doesn't count. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. You'll break it, place another brick fence with a lantern. You should just leave this open, because it is a work plank above. I'm just using if it's smooth quartz or not to base that. I'm not even gonna lie. Um... But uh, you can actually trace that directly down to the ground. And if you're looking towards the back light blue wall, that's that one. You want to count uh, forward two, which is towards the chains, and then left by one. And you want to place an anvil here. And this anvil wants to have the long side facing front to back like that. From that anvil, you'll count left by two and back by one, and you'll place a smooth quartz stair facing right with white banners on either side for the armrests. From that smooth quartz stair, you'll count right by five and back by one and place a stair facing right, that's smooth quartz. Then right of it, you'll place one looking forward and then one facing left. Clear your inventory, and you want to get out. Uh, acacia planks. Acacia door. I used an item frame with a birch button in it to represent the key card that is in this room. And just to get the other area situated... I'll just say mangrove, i just like pick a couple of planks. The ones that I have here are mangrove, jungle, and warped. I think that's it. And uh, you will need one more inventory space for a brick block. Which I will just get that done. Um, again, directly below the lantern, you want to count back a block from the floor. And you want to place two acacia planks moving up. Off the front face, you want to place an acacia door. The handle should face left when you look at the door. And then off the right side of this, you'll place on the bottom block an item frame with the birch button in it. And then you could name it keycard with the anvil that's in this room. And maybe that is why the anvil is in this room. It's there now. Um, I don't have Alpha 3 and I'm not uh, exactly in a caring position. To that's probably why the anvil's in here, though. Um, uh, you just want to open this birch door, though. And I I'm honestly just going to, like, oh, hold on, i got to get in here. I'm just going to place a couple of random planks and stuff, and then just make sure that um, the walls for what you can see are brick. There is actually a pathway here, so if you wanted to like make some sort of a pathway that curves and kind of just goes out of your uh, view like that. I mean, that, that doesn't exactly go out of view, but wait, now it does. Haha. -ha. See how I'm smart. Yeah, it's just, honestly just like that. Nothing crazy with the oh okay. Uh, I, how in the world does that even okay, whatever then. Um That's honestly like a new one. I, I didn't think that was gonna Oh right, okay. I'm struggling with this. Okay. There we go. One more thing in this room where you have the um door to the security office. 
It's just a block out. Basically, it's going to be one block away from either corner. You're going to just break into the ceiling. This will lead into the third floor room. And if you actually... No, I was going to say if you wanted to take that up. But I think it's better maybe to actually come up here anyway. And then just find your way back around down there. Because we do want to be down here for our next section. Which, let's get that staircase out of the way, I suppose. Just because it's, you know... It's easy, and it's, it's a staircase. I don't know. So, you want to... You need acacia stairs for this. Is that all? You might need a few other materials. You do need acacia planks as well. And I'll grab warp planks. Red concrete, just for the heck of it. And there is a light here. Hey, I'll just grab a normal torch. That will probably be needed. Uh, but where you have this little divot here at the back of the room, you want to just place uh, uh, two acacia stairs in. You then want to go up diagonally left with acacia stairs until you are in line with the pillar quartz that divides the red from the yellow on at least one wall. The other wall is just dividing yellow and yellow. And then you'll place an acacia plank. And that should lead you actually perfectly into this wall here. Uh, we'll grab a few more materials in a second. Literally, actually, I'm just going to tell you to grab birch door. And... Yeah, at the right side of this gap, you'll just break a doorway. Place a warp plank under it, and you'll place a birch door in the doorway. Handle will face right. You know what else we might want to get? Smooth quartz slabs. So, in line with the second red concrete above the birch door, you just want to fill in this little area with upside down smooth quartz slabs. Looking back at the front here, this pillar quartz block that's actually in line with the birch door, you're going to want to place a torch on. And, yeah, I want to check something here. Okay, so, there's a lot of barriers here for some reason. So I can't actually see what's happening. But underneath this staircase, if you want to just break under your voice crack. Um, oh, I saved that painting's life, I think. You, you can, I guess, clear your inventory. We're going to need the warp planks and red concrete again, but I just want to get this done so I don't forget about it and get that type of ordeal happening. You want to get out smooth quartz blocks, crimson planks, dispenser, lever, oh, I realize why now, and crimson slabs. Uh, I would just coat the underside of all the acacia stairs and upside down smooth quartz stairs. And then we reach the top, it is just smooth quartz blocks if you want to do that as well. I didn't realize I was like that. This might be inventory bouncy. In line with the hole in the wall here where you have a painting, you want to turn around and place crimson plank on the floor with the spencer on top and then crimson sub on top of that. On the right side of this, you can place a lever. And I have it on for some reason. Not entirely sure why. But... Basically, this is where the magnet would work. I have the blue key in there as well. Um, so I'm guessing the I basically have this surrounded in barriers. Like, could you not? It's like this kind of. It's like that. Uh, there's more to it. But um, just so when you hit the. Oh, it's actually more like voice crack. It's more like this, so you can actually hit the lever. But uh, you'll hit the lever and then you'll get the key and whatever. That's how that works. I would also break back up now. I just wanted to get that out of the way while I was thinking about it. And let's also lay out the next room. And again, for that, you're just... Oh, I'm stuck. Hold on. You're just going to need warped planks and red concrete. And that should be everything. We're not going to... Oh, I, we will finish the room in this part. But I, I, I'm going to say that because of weirdness. So, if you look around, you'll notice this room is basically already laid out for you. Now... Yeah, I mean, it is. You have this row of yellow concrete here, and you, you will just have to break that and also the next row in. But, honestly, you're just connecting all the walls together and filling in the floor with warp planks. You have this gap here, where it leads down to the next room. Leave that gap open. But, yeah, I don't have a ton of instruction because, like, I don't know. You're going to have to destroy some pillar quartz and stuff in your floor to actually make the floor. But the room, just all the walls line up. It's just 
you know, it's basically there. This room is also closed off in Alpha 3 completely. Um, so there is no access point. You are literally just boxing this room in. It's pretty simple and also very nice. It's always good to get something simple. And the ceiling height ends up being, um, if you want to just get out your smooth cord subs to do this as well, this window at the, um, above the door that we actually enter through, it'll be just a row of red concrete above that you'll have upside down smooth cord slabs in line with, which you shouldn't have to destroy anything for that. What is this actually? Oh, that's that door. Never mind. I'll show you like that room and stuff later. This corner. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to keep this pillar quartz, I think. I don't know what it is, but... Uh, yeah. So again, everything's just red concrete. You're just filling in walls. Walls with red. Ceiling with upside down smooth quartz slabs. Floor in with warped planks. It's a big room, but it's honestly fairly empty. Even, like, rooms like this, I'll, sh I'll show you what I have. I'm not going to probably be insanely detailed with it. That'll probably be next part, because I think I'm going to call the part after we do this room and maybe the room in front. But, uh, yeah. And then we'll get Act 1, and then after Act 1, you'll get Act 2, which you'll need Act 1 for. So you might have to build it twice, or... Structure block it or whatever. You should be able to structure block it unless you're on additions or something. Which, uh, actually the day that I'm recording this part is, uh, actually the day that that structure block video just came out. So, uh, <laughs> you have no excuse now unless you're on additions or something, but, uh, yeah, I think Java, it should work. Well, it's not the same in Java. Like, I think the menus are a little different, but I'm pretty sure it should have all the same options. At least for what I sure do. I should have just like opened Java real quick and just like shown what that interface looks like. Missed opportunity, but oh well. Anyway, there you go. There's the layout of this room. Done. Let's finish off this part with these two rooms. No, I'm looking at one room. But it's going to be this room and that like... Uh, roof room that's in front of this room. I don't know which way I'm looking actually, so um Yeah, but let's start by getting out some materials and I'm gonna start with uh, Logical ones, I guess. I don't know you want to get out a red. Uh, that's not it red wool yellow wool oak doors Green carpet yellow carpet Oak slabs we'll go with oak slabs yeah. Light gray concrete. And we'll go spruce trap doors, and I guess to finish off our inventory space, I'm gonna go dark prismarine stairs. Which we'll actually start with those. So you want to uh, find the door first, because I forgot where it actually was, so I do just want to point it out. If you're looking at the door, you're gonna come to this corner here. This corner is the back left hand corner of the room. So keep that orientation in the back of your head. You want to count forward by three. And right by two and place a dark prismarine stair facing forward. In front of it, you want to place one facing right. And in front of that, you want to place one facing back. From that front one, you want to count right to the third warped plank, which will be one actually left of in line with the door. And you want to place three green carpet moving right. Middle one you want to bring forward with another green carpet, and you also want to bring it back with an oak plank, which you can just use slabs for. Right of that plank you'll place a green carpet, and then right of that you'll place a yellow carpet. Go up diagonally to the right with a yellow. Right with two green. Up diagonally to the left with a green. Right by one, right with a yellow, up diagonally to the left with a yellow, right with two green, and then up diagonally to the left with a green. And that'll be your just random carpet that's in the middle of the floor. 
Typical Hello Neighbor fashion. Because it has no... Like, if you're going to put a carpet in a room, it's got to be, like, straight. You can't just, like, throw it in the middle of the room and hope it looks good. Sorry. I'm not an architect, but, like, that annoys me. On top of the yoke plank, you want to place a light gray concrete and around every side with the exception of the side that's facing the dark prismarine stairs. You want to place spruce trap doors and open it up against the light gray concrete to create an old-fashioned small TV. I say small because, um, yeah, you don't, I don't have to tell you why. Hopefully not. This is where things get annoying. Oh, we need another door. I didn't realize that. that. We're not going to start with that, actually. I lied. Um, come to the window on the back wall. It's above the um, birch door. And if you're looking at the window, we're going to throw everything uh, away. From the middle block, you want to count right by two and place two ups and on oak slabs. From that end one, count down by two instead of this block and place an oak slab with one to the right. From that leftmost one, you want to count down a block, left a block, and place two oak slabs moving left. This one is a weird place. The other one. We're, we're gonna... Actually, that doesn't ignore our directions. I just... Whatever. Um, from the top right-hand corner here, you want to count forward by three. And if you're on this half... You actually want to count forward by an additional one. Because it's five. Or it's four total. I forgot how math works. You want to count down by two from this and place an oak slab and bring it forward one. Now you can come to the front right-hand corner, which is this corner. And you want to, from it, count back by... I swear this is correct. Back by two and left by one and place two yellow wool. Left of that, you want to place an oak door on the back half of that block and then with a set of red wool to the side of that. On top of the oak door, place a singular red wool. Ooh. Oh, I thought I got, like, a text message, but it was a PlayStation app notification. Just like that. Clear your inventory and get out mangrove door, dark oak slabs, red nether brick wall, pillar quartz block, end rod, dark oak trap door. White stained glass panes. Oh, we need another oak door. Interesting. And also torch. Oh, we don't have the frickin' ceiling light in. I thought we did for some reason. Oh, well. Uh, at the back side of the... I guess the front side, technically, of the closet, but actually the back of it. You want to place a mangrove door there, just so it has a back. From this front right-hand corner, again, you want to count left by two. And going left, you want to place two dark oak slabs. Let's go back and uh, direct our attention back to the back left-hand corner. Oh my god, I just said back so many times. From the backmost, oh my goodness, dark prismarine stair, you want to trace it to the left wall, and on the second block up, you'll place a red nether brick wall. Now it's wall. Great. Okay. From the front of the dark, pr the frontmost dark prismarine stair, you want to leave a two-block gap moving forward and place two end rods on top of each other. Place a pillar course block on top of that. We're actually almost done to this room. So, from the front left-hand corner, this corner, you want to count right by four. And going up, you want to place white stained glass panes until you're two and a half blocks off the ceiling height, which will be there. And it's, oh, oh okay then. It will be, um, how many panes? Seven panes. And if you want to leave a three-block gap away from it and do... Oh, God, do the same thing you can. Okay. In the middle here, you can just place three dark oak trap doors along the bottom row and also bring them forward a row. You can actually place those trap doors wherever. It just depends on how high you want this lift to be. Like, you could have it at the top if you really wanted. Uh, which, by the way, that red nether brick wall over there is, for, is the lever for it. I know it's not the most creative thing, but... It's an actual lever in... Um, Act 3, which is less creative somehow, but... Uh, anyway, in the middle of these pans, from the top pans, you want to count up one and break 
spots. A, a one by two gap and place an oak door in it. Why am I stuttering so hard? The slab above the uh, oak door in, the, in line with the, or the opposite on slab on the ceiling, you want to break and place a torch. I have a mangrove plank above this torch, and I'm actually not sure why I do. Yeah, there's not a room up here or anything. I, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's from the bedroom, I think. So you can place a smooth court slab up there if you want. I It's from where the bedroom was in Act 3. I think that's the bedroom. It, it's some room there in Act 3. Uh, it just never changed. So... Before we switch rooms, you need nether brick, fences, and soul lantern, because we didn't do this earlier. And I guess also smooth cord subs again. Um, from the topmost shelf at the back, it's this one here. You want to, in line with the right row, no, left row of it, you want to leave a three block gap along with this, in line with the ceiling, and uh, this fourth block will be another brick fence with soul lantern. And again, you can place smooth cord slab above that, which I actually have that as smooth quartz on mine. Real quick in here, um, from this kind of back green carpet, I guess front green carpet technically, it's closer to the uh, dark oak trap doors. You want to count uh, towards them by a block and left from my perspective by two, and just place a diagonally facing armor stand there. Mannequin. Also, outside of this window here at the uh, top at the back of the room, you want one there. And then now you can uh, get out of this room uh, before we end, which uh, to do one more room, which uh, usually going to the window is uh, a pretty logical method, whether that be real life or a video game. Uh, you want to go into this like front kind of roofed attic room that hoists the crowbar in this particular version of the game. So this room is fairly simple, I think. I actually don't know, but we'll see, I guess. Um, the annoying part is it has a slab floor and a uh, stair to ceiling. It's not a good combination. You want to get out warp slabs and you want to get out birch stairs. J I'm just going to start with those because that'll give us a base layer. Uh, in line with the... First, I'm actually going to try to do the opposite on birch stairs. Just under all the uh, dark oak stairs, we'll place opposite on birch stairs. Making sure that uh, they actually load in. But making sure that the hole you leave open, obviously. And I would not... Okay, that's great. I would leave these stairs here just open because, yeah. And then I don't really know what else to say. We'll also cover up the mangrove, which is nice. Almost there, kind of. I, I'm telling you to do this first because we want the bottom row because you can see, like, half of it. Trying to place those afterwards is not fun. But, um... In line with the, uh, I guess, bottom row of this room, you want to uh, make the floor warped slabs. I feel like in Act 3, it's also a slab floor. I think. I'm not positive on that. It might not be. We'll see, I guess. I can't remember. I It's been a hot minute since I built that, but... It's not been a hot minute since I built this, too, but... You know. There you go. That's the room done. I'm just kidding. That's not the room done. Um, let's get out some material. Stripped acacia wood is one of them. You can actually get rid of the two you have as well. You might want at least the birch. Or you might want both of them for failsafe in case you screw up. Because it's... It's probably bound to happen. Actually, there's not that much in this room. So, uh, you're fine, but... Beehives. End rods. Stripped warped hyphae. You specifically want the hyphae. You also specifically want the uh, okay, stripped acacia wood, not logs. Um, and it's just because item frame, and I think I used a netherite hoe here. I did for the crowbar. Obviously, you can use whatever tool you want. I just use the hoe because it looks the most like a crowbar. Um, Let's start off in this room by uh, coming to the front window and just turning around and facing towards the red concrete wall. This just makes sure that we're on the same page with directions. Uh, the right half of the window, you want to count to the third warp slab back. That's this one. And you want to break, is it a 2x2? Two two? It is a 2x2 two two of warp slabs and replace them with beehives. You want to uh, bring that up an additional row, except you want to leave the back left open. 
the front right beehive you want to place an end rod on top of with a strip warp hyphae on top of that. I think that's one of those little lamps if I remember, or it, no, it's not, it's not. It's one of the big lamps, which I had to do this way because short ceiling. Um, from this back one tall beehive, this poor guy, you want to count back two and left by one, and here you want to break this warp slab and place a row of stripped acacia wood going all the way up to the ceiling, which we will have to break an acacia stair for, and also the warp slab, obviously. I did from the, um, just the top block that you can, I placed an item from the crowbar in it and had it facing completely upright. You want to, from that, uh, the bottom of that, you can just leave a two block gap left and place another row that will, well, it's obviously much shorter, but it's still there. Hold on, I just gotta count, okay. And then from this, uh, the first, or the tall one you place, you wanna count back four and right one, and without breaking into the floor, you wanna place two stripped acacia wood moving up, and then go four diagonally up one and connect up to the ceiling from there. And, um, yeah, once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your Alpha 3 first, I guess, three floors of an interior complete. I'm gonna make a, probably not extremely detailed, but still showing you the rooms that for sure have stuff in them for the rest of the house, which will probably only be like a 45-ish minute video. I don't know how long this one is, though, because I don't think I started editing it yet, which is great. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, again, you will see one more of these before we officially move on to the Act 1 interior. Why did I do that? I did both the exteriors. No, I both the interior. That's fine. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.